Supply is low and is falling at a faster rate than demand. However, demand has stabilized. What impact will this have on future housing prices? Let's get into it and take a closer look at the Phoenix real estate market. There are 14,382 homes for sale. 9,206 are under contract and sale pending. 16,106 homes sold over the past 90 days. There's 76.52 days of inventory. Average days on market is 75. The listed sales price ratio is 96.9%. Average sales price is $524,441. One year ago was $554,451. The monthly median sales price for March is currently $425,000. One year ago, it was $462,050. The monthly median sales price is down 8% from last year. And the March monthly median sales price is up 2.4% over February. Our current annual median sales price is $418,000. Last year, it was $455,000. And the annual median sales price is down 8.13% from last year. Let's go deeper. The monthly average dollar per square foot for closed listings in the greater Phoenix metro area stands at $273.22, up from $268.24 a month ago, which was also up from $264.13 on January 15th. This means the average dollar per square foot for closed listings has jumped by 3.4% in just two months. The monthly median sales price is also up from $415,000 in January to $425,000, but the annual median sales price is still down from 2022's high by 8.13%. Based on current data and trends, we don't see a significant decline in housing prices. We actually have seen them stabilize and now they're going upwards at a very slow pace. Could something change the current course? Yes, but with the current low supply and low number of building permits, don't expect a surge of inventory that can cause prices to plummet. The Crawford Market Index now has 13 out of our 17 major cities in a market that favors sellers. One is in a balanced market, but trending upwards, and three are in a market that still favors buyers, but they are also trending upwards towards balanced territory. Chandler still leads the pack at number one and grew by 26% since last week. And then we also see Gilbert up 25% from last week and Peoria up 22% from last week. However, Tempe and Paradise Valley still are continuing to trend downwards. Tempe is a tale of North versus South. South Tempe is doing much better than the North Tempe zip codes. There is just 16 properties for sale in South Tempe 85284 and 36 days of inventory. In 85282 and 85281, there are 65 and 34 properties for sale with 57 and 67 days of inventory. By comparison, the greater Phoenix metro area average is 76.5 days of inventory and the uber hot Chandler has 40 days of inventory. So South Tempe is actually doing just as well as Chandler. This is why we say real estate is hyper local. That's it for this week's market update. If you have any questions about the Phoenix real estate market, shoot us a text or an email or give us a call. In the meantime, if you know anyone that's looking to buy or sell real estate in the Phoenix metro area, we are never too busy for your referrals or to assist you.